Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about mitosis. Alright, so for mitosis, there are actually four phases. Lah. The first phase is prophase, and then metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So to make it easy, we use promet to remember. Or some people, they actually prefer use pmet. So pmet or promet is actually the sequence of mitosis. Alright, so prophase. Uh, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and the last one is the cytokinesis. Let's start to draw the prophase, which 2n equal to 4. So 2m is diploid. Alright, so only for all the somatic cell will carry out mitosis. So 2n is diploid. So the number of chromosomes is 4. So this is one chromosome. And then second chromosome. Third chromosome. And fourth chromosome. And the centriole. And then spindle fiber. So now this is the nuclear membrane. So why do we draw the nuclear membrane as like a, having a hole in between, right? It's actually in the prophase, the nuclear membrane is disappearing. That's why you're having a hole. Lah. So start labeling. All right. So for prophase, the chromosome will condense and visible under the light microscope. So previously the chromosome is loosely coiled, they are not condensed. So when they are condensed, become shortened and also thickened, they will be more visible under the light microscope, which will be seen under the light microscope. So nucleus and nuclear membrane will disappear and then centriole will move to the opposite pole. So what is opposite poles? So opposite poles actually means the left side and the right side of the cell. So it means, uh, this is what it means by opposite pole. And then spindle fiber will form. In prophase, the spindle fiber haven't fully formed yet. It will actually be seen in the metaphase. So move on next to the metaphase. Metaphase, you will see that I draw the chromosome in the middle of the cell. So which one on the top or which one in the bottom, it doesn't matter. The arrangement doesn't matter. You just have to remember, they arrange randomly. Okay, they're arranged randomly. Means by chance, it can be the long one in the, on the top, it can be the short one on the top, it doesn't matter because everything happened randomly. As long as you draw it on, in the middle, it'll be alright. And then we'll draw the centriole. And next, we draw the spindle fiber. So here you can see that the spindle fiber is linked to the centromere. You must draw the spindle fiber from the centriole and then link all the way to the centromere. You will see that the red line that I'm actually drawing is the equatorial plane. For metaphase, the chromosome line up at the equatorial plane. So what is equatorial plane? Equatorial plane, it just simply means the middle of a cell. Right, just it means the middle of the cell. So which is, uh, which I have drawn in the red color dotted line here is an equatorial plane. So each centromere attach itself to the spindle fiber. And then in anaphase, phase, we'll draw two cent uh, centriole and then we'll draw spindle fiber which is shorter than the previous one. So for anaphase, phase, the centromere divide into two and the sister chromatid separate. So we can clearly see that they separate in the middle. Lah. So half to the left, half to the right. And the spindle fiber will shorten and contract so that they can pull the chromatids to the left and the right side of the cell. Okay, next is a telophase. So for telophase, in this phase, the cell is ready to split into two. Just ready, but they haven't split yet. So we will draw it like this and then we will draw the nuclear membrane first 
So why is it dotted? It's dotted because the nuclear membrane is starting to form. And then we will draw the chromosome. So 4 on the left and 4 on the right. Alright, so for telophase, the chromosome reach the opposite pole, spindle fiber disappear, nuclear membrane reform and the nucleus reappear in each nucleus. So here we can see actually there's one, two, three, four, four chromosome, one, two, three, four, four chromosome. So two n equal to four on the left and two n equal to four on the right. So chromosome, how do we count? As long as you count it by the central mere. Just remember to count the chromosome by central mirrors. So for prophase, one, two, three, four, four central mirrors. So there's four chromosomes. So in telophase, one, two, three, four, four central mirrors. There's four chromosome. So two n equal to four on the left. Two n equal to four on the right. And then next to the cytokinesis. So for cytokinesis, the nucleus is fully formed. What I want to highlight is the two arrow pointing inwards. So it's actually called the cleavage furrow. For cytokinesis, it's actually not a part of the mitosis. It's what happened after mitosis. Or basically we can say it's what happened after the tallow phase. So the cell membrane at the midpoint of the parent cell will constrict and a cleavage furrow is formed. Two separated identical daughter cell will be formed. So cleavage furrow is actually a force, uh, an external force where it will push inwards and try to separate the cell into two cells. So this is the end product. There will be two cells formed. The word cytokinesis just simply means the separation of the cytoplasm. Because if a cell want to divide, after they have made a copy of the nucleus, they must split their cytoplasm. Alright, so cytokinesis is the last part of the cell division. So I think that's all for today's video. So if you like this video, remember to like and also help me to subscribe. And previously I have done two videos for the cell division, sort of like the introduction part. You can go and watch it as well. So if you have any question, you can always leave a comment in the comment section below. And I think that's all for today. I see you all in the next video. Okay, goodbye.